Hey guys, I'm Malzavain, and welcome back to another episode of Bioshock Infinite's Burial at Sea. We're still in the first episode. We basically just spend a whole, like, 30 minutes just looking through the whole, like, pre-rapture pre or pre-destruction rapture uh, that the Bioshock 1 usually had it, and Bioshock 2 actually had it. Um, but yeah, we got to know what we see so far. We got some audio logs as well in the last game, three of them. Oh, there's a wallet. Oh, there's nothing in it. But yeah, we're gonna go to go into the Gohan now because I waited out on the story stuff because I was busy trying to look for all the secrets and such, so we can like be prepared to enter it and private party, no stuff. entry without invitation. We'll see about that. Oh, we're gonna go in just without. Which business do you represent, sir? Uh, business? Yes, which business? DeWitt Investigations. Mr. Cohen does not truck with private detectives. Masks of invitation went to artists and craftsmen alone. I'm with the artist struggle. We're expected... No mask, no entry. Stuffed shirt. These invitation masks he spoke of, they must have gone out to local artisans. Well, I guess we'll have to persuade someone to loan us one. The business of rapture is business. Says it's sponsored by the Artist Struggle, the Golden Rule, and Rapture Records. I guess those stores would be as good a place to start as any. Interesting. So we're actually going to explore those places anyways. Intriguing. Uh, gameplay menu is O, I guess it's saying. Yeah, it looks like O. It looks like there's three local stores that might have received invitations to Cohen's Club. Uh, you can choose your current objective from the objective screen. Press O to access it. Okay, it's the same basic, like, it's the same thing that happens with, uh, with, um, Infinite, where it's just literally those things. I don't know, it's not bad, per se, in a way that's like... What brought you to Rapture? A man. Really? You don't strike me as the romantic type. Wasn't that kind of man. Then what? There's a debt that needs repaying. I've known my share of Shylocks. You're no Shylock. Wasn't that kind of debt. Honestly, I thought that, that the couples were talking, but it was Elizabeth all that time. <laughs> I was just confused. I was like, wait, is she telling me something? It's like, wait, she's, her mouth is not moving. <laughs> oh, wait, it's Elizabeth. <laughs> Invitations to Cohen shows are highly coveted. Nobody's going to just hand us one. You think you can figure out a way to distract the store owner while I take a look around? You just find the mask. Leave the distractions to me. Oh, this Good place. You, oh, there's nobody here. There was an NPC couple right here earlier, but... Alright, so we need to find something, I guess. But I don't know exactly... How do we start looking... Excuse me. Lady has some questions for you. Yes, of course. I'm interested in this piece. Ah, excellent. You've an eye, haven't you, miss? It's a natural sapphire and diamond, 18 karat gold ring, fully hallmarked for Paris, 1887. Really? The center cobachon. Excuse me, sir. That's a lot of fine talk about a stolen ring. I beg your pardon. Right out of her coffin in Twilight Fields. Did you sends think those we masks wouldn't out notice? Some kind of box. <laughs> The assurances of a grave robber are of no interest to me. If you hand the ring back, the matter will Must remain be between else. you and me. I don't think so. Hit the bricks, you tramp. Get your hands off me! I don't see anything. I'm sorry if I'm not speaking. I'm just trying to, like, piece together what the heck I'm seeing. Hmm. Might be best if we were gone when he wakes up. Any luck? Nothing. Let's find another shop. Where did she go? Where should we look next? Okay. Upstairs at the Artist Struggle or Rapture Records straight ahead? Probably Rapture Records if they're like... If, if Rapture Records is like shorter in path, I guess. So I'm just trying to do this again so I can like make sure I can get the thumbnail for whatever reason. Because, uh, I didn't, I don't know, because the previous episode won't have the exact same thing, but, uh, is this not one of the locations, no? 
Oh, there's another of these things. Taking the taint out of Fontaine. Taking the taint out of Fontaine, yeah. Are you in the know? No. You've doubtlessly sampled products from Fontaine Futuristics. But do you know why Ryan Industries saved it? Frank Fontaine, business leader and benefactor of mankind? Or was he the best friend the parasite ever had? Were you aware his businesses were a front for a smuggling ring? And were you also fooled by his supposed charity work? At his free clinic, patients became test subjects. And his orphanages were places that children disappeared into and never came out. Damn. Once they learned the truth, Rapture's Central Council called for the arrest of Fontaine Futuristic's owner. But, a coward to the end, Fontaine found a hail of bullets preferable to facing justice. The council asked that Ryan Industries assume the burden of stewardship of Fontaine's ill-gotten assets. And Andrew Ryan accepted that burden for the people of Rapture. Now all citizens can enjoy these products free of criminal taint. Now you know. Honestly, I think that if I remember from Bioshock 1, Ryan did this in plan to try to like steal the business for himself to use, I think. But I might be wrong. Because his idea was that everybody should be freely able to uh, to obtain the thing with, without judgment and stuff like that, I guess. But then again, it's also weird that they're so adamant that Fontaine is a criminal. Right? You see that dish I walked in with? Will you give her the star treatment, pal? That'll make it worth your while. But of course, right away. Huh? Interesting, isn't it? Original Sander Cohen. He calls it miasma. I'm sorry, but I know precious little about art. How does it make you feel? Kind of fine. I don't box. want to open my mouth for fear of what foolishness might tumble out. Nothing. Well, only one place oh, left. Oh, I would like so much to understand. In this piece, Cohen intended to show us the struggle of the great man. And then to breathe the swampy air of the parasite. <laughs> you see all that in that little picture? You have given me so much to think about. I, I feel a trifle swoony. W would you mind if, if I return tomorrow for further education? I shall be here at your service. Until tomorrow. I'm still drunk. Jeez. That alcohol was really powerful. Nothing. No. Got one place left, though. And if that proves to be fruitless, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Yeah. All right. Where is the last location again? I wonder. I was thinking Artist Struggle would had it, but I guess the records is definitely the place, considering how small time it is. Uh, there it is. Rapture Records. I'm not looking to be an obstacle to your accomplishments. I'm a modern fella. I just want to walk next to you and admire your stride. Darling, hmm. you do know how to talk to a woman. Oh yeah, he was the one guy who was uh, saying in the last episode that uh, <laughs> that the doctors were picking his face for for perfect symmetry, and she thought that it was a terrible uh, a terrible line Look to around, present. Please. Hey, pal, you want to help out the little lady? Yes, of course. It's always so loud that they that he says something about it. What is this piece? It's by Trinet. Where is he hiding what that box? Covered by Mr. Rock. Lovely. Hey.
Even one more note shall prove my undoing. That is so weird, the way she had to act like the thing is doing something to her. Alright, is she gonna say something about it? Interesting. Good. You've located the mask. Third time's a charm. Alright, it's best we head back to Cohen's. Alrighty. But yeah, it's kind of fascinating that they were. Uh, she was Find doing that. work back with those shopkeeps. You've got a bit of the grifter in you. For that, you can thank my father. Oh yeah. He was a man comfortable in a variety of roles. But okay, very unique to say, but okay. Alrighty, let's get going there. Alrighty, here we go. Uh, yes, sir. I don't think there's anything really to look for after that because I've already went through a lot of different places. So in the last episode, we basically scoured everything that we could. So I don't think there should be that much more in this area. Ah, very well. Mr. Cohen awaits your participation at his performance. I can't remember if Cohen was a character from the first game or not, because names elude me a lot, so... So yeah. who is this fellow Cohen? Some sort of underworld figure? Worse. He's an artist. An artist who kidnaps children? Cohen's muse is a bit more diverse. I've seen his type. Gets an idea in his head, end a conversation. Don't matter who gets hurt. Interesting level in space. This is so creepy, but weird at the same time. Can't see anything. I can't move either, which is terrible. Sheesh, really. That sound effect really has to be the case. There's probably music playing, but I can't hear it, so... They actually put rabbits in the freaking club. Are you kidding me? Alright, we'll, we'll get down there and see what's going on. Yeah, we'll go down here and see what's going on over here. It's also interesting that they let Elizabeth in, even though she has no mask. Open yourselves to the music! To the spirit of the eternal! Wait, is this that one guy we fought in that one area? Why do you fail in this fashion? To embarrass me in front of my muse? My muse shall not be mocked. Fitzpatrick! Please! The stiff you for God's sake! Ah! My muse shall not be mocked! Get them out of here! There shall be no failure on my canvas. I'm hoping they're not dead, but they might be dead anyways. Oh, there's no room in Rapture anymore for the artist. Yeah, I think it's that one guy we fought who, like, disappears. Like, he was, like, the rabbit bunny mask guy in the Bioshock 1, where he just teleports around and stuff, and we fought him in the theater or something like that. It's kind of a crazy fight, I think. I like that character a lot. But, uh... I don't know. Might be the same character, might be a different character. Also, there's a lot of bathtubs. Wondering why. Everyone's... What is he holding? Is that a camera, I guess? It looks like a camera to me. Alright, we need to talk to this guy, apparently, in order to progress the story a little bit. But let me look around. Probably might miss a, uh, a thing or two, but I'm not careful here. I want to make sure I'm not missing out on any of the uh, audio diaries, audio logs. Alright, we should be safe to progress, I think. Let's go for it. Also, I don't like the fact that Elizabeth's skirt is literally the same skirt problem of the, <laughs> the main game. Because Elizabeth in the main game actually has skirt problems because of the length touching the floor. But this one is having the same problem. Where her character's rigging or body is touching the, the cloth physics too too much. Who are you? Name's DeWitt. Is that right? My... <laughs> this one's a real biscuit. 
Isn't he a biscuit, lady? I need to ask you a few questions. Questions? Yes. Yes. It is the work of man to ask. It is the work of the artist to answer. You've seen this girl, haven't you? We artists see more than most. You are more than you claim to be, little songbird. Are you not? Oh, interesting that he's calling her songbird. Watch this one, DeWitt. She'll take you where you don't want to go. She's already doing I, that. I know the child in that photo is important to you. So many children flit, flit, flit away. I know where the girl is. And I will send you to her. By attacking us. Exchange. All I ask is a dance. What? I see something in you too. Art strips away artifice. Show me who you are, and I will show you where you need to this go. Cohen, you son of a bitch. Mr. Dwight. <laughs> but also, he's dance. he's not starting a new painting thing either. Come, come, dance. I really hate this peer pressuring chant. Come on, dance. Feel the music. Feel the music. All right, here we go, Elizabeth. I guess we have to do this. I shudder to think what greater price he might care to extract. Fitzpatrick! Beauty and pain. And pain? They can be no more separated than birth and blood. What do you think Cohen's customers do with the children? Do they? Sometimes. But those types lack the capital of people like Ryan and Suchon. That's a blessing. You saw those little sisters. You so sure? But if Su Chong had Sally, I'd know it. How? As I tied him to a chair and asked him. So? For 15 hours. <laughs> I don't know what to make of you, Mr. DeWitt. No, 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 no! Listen, we're not gonna keep. Fitzpatrick! <laughs> we're not gonna. I don't know why we, we why we even went with the plan of dancing for this guy. Oh, there's achievement. Down in the briny, achievement unlocked. Like I don't know why we even danced for freaking this guy. Cohen is never DeWitt. should be trusted. Mr. Dewitt, are you all right? I'm fine. Oh, her dress is all. You were dreaming. You kept saying your daughter's name, Sally. She's not my daughter. I thought. Pain and beauty. An artist, they are parent and child. Cohen? I am sending you to find your young one. <laughs> no need to thank me. I'm not so sure you'll like what you find. I mean, that is to be expected. I'm not surprised that it's being sent to a different location entirely. Though part of me feels like it's gonna go to another familiar location, sort of. Look. Fontaine. Fontaine's. Ryan sent the whole thing to the bottom. But Damn. it's in prison now. Why would Cohen have sent Sally there? I don't know. Everyone has needs. I merely provide a service for those who have the means to pay. You'll find your little bird in the housewares department. How many people do you suppose Ryan's got locked up in that place? Enough. Fontaine had amassed something near an army. Now they're down there, spliced up and wild. All right, there's a dock up ahead. Intriguing that they... It takes a cold son of a bitch to do that to a living person. Oh, what's that? Burial at sea. You read oh. your residency contract with Ryan Industries? In perpetuity, we're all buried at sea. 
It's funny because it's kind of like the, the Leonardo DiCaprio meme where he's just pointing at the screen. She said the line! She said the line! She said the line! It's just kind of like that weird thing. Oh, there's actual weapons now. What in the name? We're immediately just starting to get into it. too comfortable. It. Keep your eyes open. Do we have plasmid? Oh, we do have plasmids. We have the old- we have the- the old plasmids? The Seem to be some supplies plasmids? this way, Mr. Dewitt. It's Booker. What? Just call me Booker. If it's all the same to you, let's leave it at Mr. Dewitt. Uh, okay. Again, I don't know why they switched the controls to pressing F when you're collecting items when E was the thing in the main game. I just don't know why they do this. Why are you guys doing this? Crabs! I wanna whack the crabs! I'm not sure why the, the melee weapon's not working, I guess. Alright, let me see something. Because the, the melee weapon seems to not be a thing for f pressing F. Unless you have to, like, actually use... Or, like, you have to actually try and, like... Uh... That's so weird, I guess. Use is E. But it doesn't seem to take... I feel like the the, the 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 controls aren't registering as it should be, and somebody in the right in the in the wrong mindset thought the controls should be different from the main game somehow. I don't know why the the control schemes are different. I'm I'm I don't know. That's a constant thing I'm gonna keep complaining about because it's not the instructions are telling me different based on uh, some other means. All right, let's see what else is there here. Nothing in here. Oh, we're actually getting decent money for once, I guess, maybe? I don't know. I'm, I don't know what exactly what's to be expected yet, but... So far, the setup for this DLC has been... Uh, it's been pretty straightforward, I guess. Not really crazy things going on right now, but... Also, nothing too, like, too intriguing. Like, the hook is not there much yet. But, uh, yeah. Because the hook is kind of like, where's the where's the Sally girl we're looking for? And then now we're here, finally. But it took, like, a bit of time to get to this point where it's like, we're finally getting to see if we can find this girl. Left mouse to fire, right mouse to plasmid, press the options to view the controls. I get it. So we're about to shoot something soon here, it looks like. Somebody had the power to frost enemies, I see. Hmm, is that the bucking bronco symbol right there I see? Or is it just a messed up police sign? No trespassing closed. And no trespassing closed by the order of the council. Look up there. Let's have another look around. Perhaps we'll be able to find something to get us up and over. Oh, is this gonna try to incorporate the Bioshock Infinite mechanics into this game? Because I feel like they're if they're trying to do that, they feel very out of place, sort of. Oh, interesting. I've I realized that they're specifically stating like Dionysus Park here. When in actuality, di like they should have at least have these locations in the main area of Bioshock. So are they saying that there's like a separate society where everything is normal and everything else here has just gone to crap because of the fact that they've Ryan chose to like separate them all out in a sense? Because if that's the case, that kind of sucks. Because the story kind of feels very discon like disconnected from trying to be relatable to the first game. And it's just using the first game as an excuse, as a backdrop to, I guess, like to kind of develop a alternative universe version of like the space, I guess, a bit more. Why can't I grab this one? I have to grab this one specifically, really. Could be handy. A skyhook. Skyhook? You mean the air grabber? Kids use them to ride around up on the pneumo lines. Air grabber? Huh. On 
constants and variables. Constants and what? Never mind. Okay, now we can whack people. Yeah, it seems like we just needed the sky hook and then the air grabber, hook grabber, whatever. I don't know the names that they're trying to treat. Again, <laughs> well, actually, no, it's not again, but more like it's just choosing to make these like parallel universe thing going. But I don't know. I really don't know. Goddamn grabber stuck. Mr. Dewitt, someone's coming. I see that. All right, I got the grabber unjammed. Did he just? Mr. Dewitt, he just teleported through the door. I shot him and he teleported through the door. What? What madness is this? All right, let me grab what, let me grab some of these things before we move forward. It's kind of cool that they did like the whole animation and stuff, but. Housewares. That's where Cohen said we'd find Sally. Mm. The store ran trams between the three buildings. We'll need to avail ourselves of that. Assuming it still works. Optimism, Mr. DeWitt. It helps in situations like this. Get to the tram. Alright. I mean... Oh, it's like a three-part building kind of thing. Yeah, it looks like it. To the tram. Department store. It's a really cool design of a building, but I do expect this game to be like, or this DLC to be like very short, or pretty short because of it, because it's just pertaining to this building area only, and then try to connect it to like, uh, Bioshock Infinite slash Bioshock 1 to some degree, I guess. Oh, we had to press the button, I guess. No, the body disappeared. I wanted to loot that body that was hit. But whatever. All right. When did you come to Rapture? Oh, it was. Jeez, uh, I guess around fifty-one. No, forty-eight. That's a rather large gap. Time. Life I had before. Sort of becomes a blur. Forty-nine. 49 for sure. Nose bleeding, yeah. Damn. You look a mess, Mr. DeWitt. Just keep your eyes open for splicers. They can do us a whole lot worse. Here, little birdies. Eat it up. But it, it's good for you, you know? I've never heard of birds that didn't like seeds. What, what's the matter with you? Do, do you think it's poison? I thought you were my... Hi. I'm like almost out of ammo again. Jeez. Okay. Hi. Oh, I'm out of ammo already. Okay, I didn't even know that. What the heck was this, the enemy doing? Oh, oh, jeez. Oh. I don't like the. Yeah, see, I don't like the fact that if you press E and you're like looking and searching for the thing. You have to press F to get out of it, but you can't press E to get out of it. It's just why. Mr. DeWitt, look. Well, there's the tram. That splicer had no problem freezing a path for himself before. I'm sure he'll be happy to do the same for us. I have no doubt you'll prove persuasive. Are these pigs or rats? I can't tell. How do we load here? Oh, my bad. I didn't mean to press the right click. I was misclicking it. <laughs> Damn it. Now I'm lo I'm down one Mr. one salt. Dewitt, look. What's up? An ice rink. Be good at places any to look for our new friend. Says it's on the top floor. So we go up. Visit Raptor on Ice. Okay. Money. I've yet to see the reason for why we need this much money for now, or anything like that. Oh god, we're bringing back the Elizabeth mechanic, isn't it? Uh, I mean, it's not bad per se, but there seems to be something in here. It's not bad per se, it's just like, kind of feels like they weren't interested in making 
or remaking some of the mechanics that existed in the original game. Instead, they're just using whatever uh, whatever stuff they've already had to remake the levels and stuff, which is not bad, I think. But it's just kind of feels very like underhanded to try and to try and do something. Nice. Like, it, it feels kind of like they were just, like, doing it for nostalgic reasons. Like, they just feel like they need to make sure that they had the game tied to Bioshock somehow. But yet, it feels very un-Bioshock-y of the first game. It feels more, like, related to, like, Infinite Infinite for whatever the purpose may be. Which I think is okay, but I don't like that the mixture is, like, considered a thing. Okay. This kind of sucks that the lady died here. Oh. I was pressing F to get out of the menu, but it ended up hitting her. That was not my- that's not what I wanted to do. See, this is what I was talking about. If you're pressing E, it's like- it's easy because Another you don't pipe. have Storage it. sunk a few hundred feet beyond its specifications. More pressure, more burst pipes. So we were forced to look for the plasma before we can move anywhere else, it seems. Okay. Yeah, the plasma is the only way forward, unfortunately. Yeah, looks like the things are despawned already, unfortunately. Oh, actually, can we use Possess on the vending machines? I have not tried that for some reason. I can! Hell yeah, baby! Alright, cool. Unfortunately, it only happens now that we could just do that, but... I do think I see a gear over there, so I think we might need to hop in here later on. If this opens up, that is. But Alright, let's keep moving forward. Enough wasting time around some other places, I guess, for now. Elizabeth? The damn thing's locked. Let me see that. Oh, have matters progressed so little? I could turn this with a rake pick. Oof. Done. Where'd you learn that? Oh, it's something I picked up a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, our frozen friend leaves a hell of a trail. Oh. I was like, where is this thing we're looking at? Yeah, I'm still low on ammo, so we're not going to be able to use our gun much, really. Like, I won't be able to use the gun much until we pick up more ammunition, it seems like. Oh god, there's four of them. Oh, jeez. How do we do this? Oh, hi. Oh, my bad. Oh, okay. Oh, jeez. Oh, okay. That's not health, but that's worse. Where is it? Alright, I'll let her die for that. Alright, cool. Is there more enemies? No. Sheesh. This is tough, because this is like, I have limited ammo. <laughs> I like how this guy died the way he did. Like, I have limited ammo and resources. I mean, it's fine, I guess, but still, this is pretty tough, considering how there's not a lot going on so far yet. Okay, we need to unlock that, it seems. Alrighty, cool. Um, let's upstairs here a little bit, maybe? Oh, jeez, this is more oil. Oh, jeez. Some turns. 
anarchist Bakunin said the urge to I'm not gonna let him talk about whatever he's talking about, but I'm assuming. Oh, there's a thing. Ryan, you bastard. Left me here to rot. Sure, I signed the contract. Helped turn Fontaine into a prison. Ten days, big rush, everything slapped at. Right before the prisoners are brought in. One of your piece of shit turrets. Bam! Both kneecaps. Now I'm likely a cripple locked in a jail, surrounded by maniacs. I haven't even been paid, but I don't care. Just get me out of here! I'll take the headshot. Alright, well, things are getting a little spicier where I'm trying to get out of here. Uh huh. It is intriguing to see that there's like multiple ways of approach here in this area. Oh, jeez! That was really random that he showed up out of nowhere on me. Thankfully, we got shields in this game still, or in this DLC rather. Because if there was no like shields, I would have been like in pain, losing out a lot of health quickly, though. Alright, let's see what's upstairs here to the top here. Look up there. Yeah, I... What do you want me to look up to? Oh, my bad. Yeah, I lost some eaves for that. Drinking the bottle of whatever it is. At least be getting some health back, I guess. Alrighty, cool. Um, alright, cool. This will probably be it for me for now. I'll leave this for myself in the next episode to deal with. But thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode or nobody minds. And hope you guys have a great, amazing day, weekend, night, or whatever watching this. A little bit disappointed that the save function is still the same of being annoying and 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 really bad because infinite has it where it's auto saved versus manual save which i much more appreciate the auto uh, uh manual save more than auto save because auto saving is going to require that i have to replay a certain section of this game so i will probably get back to you guys at after dealing with whatever enemies that ends up being happening i don't know where exactly it stops at but i'll see about that when i spoot it up again next time so other than that that's it for the burial at sea at this moment. Hope you guys in the next episode of One of Your Minds, and hope you guys have a great amazing day, weekend night, or whenever you're watching this. Roz, out.